Welcome to this week's Snarkfest. Today we are going to do the 2002 Spider-Man movie. <laughs> um, uh, is this your favorite Spider-Man movie ever? Or of, I mean, all of them. Not just Tobey Maguire, of all of them. Second favorite. Same here. Which one's your favorite? Tobey Maguire 2. Same here. <laughs> I love that movie so much. That is honest. Yeah, what's your favorite, babe? The new one. Oh, yeah. James likes the newest one that just the homecoming just came okay. out. <laughs> not homecoming. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 not no, homecoming. No way, no, way home. uh, no way home. No way home. Yeah. Sorry, my brain just. Oh, you do like homecoming with Vulture? Yeah. Homecoming's okay. not bad. Homecoming's not bad. That's fair. I just like Tom Holland. Tom Holland is a good Spider-Man. Uh, well, Parker. that's that's a discussion we're gonna have to get into. How do you rate the three Spider-Men? <laughs> That's Jeez. just cheating. He also likes it because of Marissa <laughs> Tomei. I mean, uh, she's one hot Aunt May. <laughs> that is fair. That is fair. Oh, uh, that's a, that's a discussion I was going to get into. Or something. What's up? I, Aunt May in this one, I think she's actually like a famous actress. It's just she was back in her day. So by the time she did this movie, I remember my parents being like, oh, she's in this? And I'm like, I have no idea who she is. Yeah, um, I've seen her in other movies. Um, I can't. Her name escapes me at the no moment. I know, I once you say it, I know I'm going to picture But I have seen her in other movies. I don't want to, she wasn't, I don't think she was like very like an A-lister. But she was, but she has done other things. She is pretty famous and that's why. That's why they got her for this. The only real problem I had with Rose it Mary is Mary Harris. That's who it yes, is. Yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, and like I said, she's been she's been around. You can find her. She's um, English. Yeah. So, I mean, heck, I wouldn't be surprised if she's in Harry Potter movies in the background, honestly. But um, Probably. the only real issue I had with her is that she could she's old enough to be Tobey Maguire's grandmother. That's really well, but my that's only just issue. It right, like. Because when yeah. this movie came out, like, if you grew up watching the 90s Spider-Man, and if you ever read the Spider-Man comics in the Sunday paper, they always show Aunt May as this little old lady with, yes, like, the Q-tip curly hair. So casting her made sense if they were going for comic accuracy, yeah. because for whatever reason, you're right. They always portray Aunt May as someone as old as, like, your grandma rather than, mm -hmm. like, your dad's brother. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, it's just, it always gets me like, I have a niece who's eight years old. I'm 32. Do I look like I'm 80? No. <laughs> or at least I hope I don't. <laughs> so, but yeah, it is, it is one of those, like I said, I mean, she plays the role perfectly. I don't want, I don't want undersell her because she is damn great wow. in the role. It's just one of those things where it's like, are you sure this is an Aunt May and not Grandma May? <laughs> uh, I mean, like, I feel like he calls her Aunt May. In my head, it's, she was one of his uh, she was his dad's aunt and uncle, right? That's so That's dad fair. called her Aunt May, and it just passed down. Because, like, what do you call your grandparent level aunts and uncles? Yeah, I just that is fair. That uncle. is, yeah. So, so that's that, kind that, of how it, I always looked at it. But um, again, it is a little weird where you're like, they didn't have anyone younger in the family to watch him, but maybe not in the area. No, yeah. So maybe daddy was an only child, and mom was from somewhere else. Yeah, who, who knows? knows? So, I mean, there are family situations that can certainly lead to this. So, well, and then one more discussion we will probably have. Do you want to get into the movie first before we have this last discussion? Or do you want to just do it now? What discussion? Do you, which do you think is the best Spider-Man actor? Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, or Tom Holland? See, Tom Holland is like the best overall. Tobey Maguire, I thought, was a good Peter Parker. Um, and then Andrew Garfield yeah. was a great Spider-Man. I 100% agree with that, actually. I honestly really did. I honestly 100% agree that Tobey Maguire, he's Peter Parker, per, Peter, per, 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 yeah. Peter Parker perfectly, but as Spider-Man, who's supposed to be like, he's supposed to be snarky and stuff like that. Right. Not so much. And, and so like when we watch this film, you'll he does have some snarky lines of Spider-Man. Yeah. And I don't know if they don't come across like as prominently as they do with Andrew Garfield because of the writing or if it was, or if it's because of how Tobey Maguire delivers it, but like yeah. they do try to sneak it in there. I just don't know if it's not enough or again, if it's just how Toby's acting. It. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, is, is, is it Tobey Maguire? Is it the director? Is it the writer? There are three possible four yeah. points here and it's possible to know which one's which. So, yeah, well, let's get into this. I'm literally one second into this. I'm assuming you're probably at that, like, 
ready to play too. It's at, it's starting with the Columbia thing. Yep. So bright light. Yeah. Well, yeah. I like I said, I'm at one second, so I see the light, but I nothing's opened up yet. So you should be right. right on there. Yeah, I'm about there too. Okay. So everybody, get you. Like I said, uh, this is this is available on Crackle, and if you have this on DVD or VHS or anything, feel free to watch along with us. And everybody, get yours. Get your my little method playing ready. And three, two, one, play. So, I did love this movie growing up, and you said DVD, which made me laugh to myself because it was this movie was on TV once. And because we were watching TV Guide channel trying to figure out what to watch. And we're like, yeah. oh, Spider-Man's on. So we go to it, or I go to it because I have control of the remote. <laughs> and uh, it starts, and it gets to a commercial. And my sister just gets up, grabs the DVD, and pops it in and says, if we're going to watch it, we're going to watch it without commercials. <laughs> That's fair. Right. I'm going to make sure my <laughs> make sure it's turned down ways. Is now, mine too loud? No, I turned mine down because mine was too loud. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I can't hear yours through the, through the TV, so we should should be good. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, this is this opening is straight from X Men. Honestly, it's this opening is so similar to the X Men opening. Which, to be fair, this was came out right after X Men. Didn't like th either this one came out and then X Men came out or X Men came out. X Men came out came first. Out. X Men came out in two thousand. This one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because X Men came out right before um, um, September eleventh. And this, I remember, there was a whole thing about they had a they had an ad which featured the Tim Ta Twin Towers that. And then, yeah, so there was a whole... Yeah, they ended up reshooting a few of the Spider-Man parts, especially the ending. I remember hearing that they had reshot that um, after yeah. September 11th happened because I think it was supposed to originally end with him on the two towers. Like, I... but of course, that couldn't happen. Mm -hmm. So it ends with him on the American flag instead. Super patriotic. Yeah, I mean, it was. Well, that, that's, that's, that's just... That's just 100% that this was in that time where everybody's like, we, the, you know, this was right after, like I said, it was right after September 11th where everybody's like, I mean, I don't know if I don't, to our younger audience, no, like there, there are people who don't remember this, but right after that happened, everybody had an American flag outside their house. It was 100% everybody's patriotic and everything. So yeah, this was, I mean, granted Sam Raimi also did that in the second one and the third one too, kind of which knows. was a little... The third one, the third one, I thought was a little bit forced, honestly. But yeah, it definitely um, was. Yeah. So Danny Elfman did the soundtrack for this mo movie, which and explains why it's amazing. Why it sounds like Danny, every script that Danny Elfman has ever made, honestly. <laughs> it kind I of, really it, like the music I of this movie. It. Okay. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love Danny Elfman. He is a great. He, you know, he's really good. But the problem is. You can pick out whatever he does. He has, it's just, everything sounds similar. It's, it's so. very epic. David Kep was awesome. doing this? Wow, seriously, David Kep? I didn't know he was working on this. This was a big deal. Yeah, well, I mean, I didn't know that David Kep was work, would be working on this because he was, I don't think he was ever, I didn't think he was ever part of Columbia Studios, but hey, what do I know? Man, this uh, is David Kep, he, he's... For everybody who doesn't know, David Kep is like he did Jurassic Park. Okay, let's, I'll just give you that and leave it at that. And I do like how it opens on the spider web. Now, I have never been to New York City, so I don't know how how accurately this represents it. Um, it oh, but yeah, this part this part does this part does kind of bug me. Um, not not this part. <laughs> It's Joe Langer <laughs> Menagiel. Anyway, this movie has a I mean, lot of, like, it has a great cast. It's full of people who became big, and Joe's yeah. one of them. No, the part that gets me is, like, how is the bus driver not stopping and letting him No, the how bus driver would actually get in a lot of trouble for this. Oh, yeah. At my wonder... school, we had cameras in every bus in case someone misbehaved. They would watch the video, and that kid would get in trouble. So, yeah. I feel like he could easily tell, like, the principal, hey, this this driver's not stopping for me. And yeah. that bus driver would get in super trouble for it. But maybe Peter Parker's just doesn't want to cause problems, and that's why he yeah. just lets him get away well, with I, it. I can, underst I can understand that everybody else would be, like, just, you know, oh, we, you know, I can understand everybody else not liking him, but 
the bus driver would would stop because if he didn't, there's a lawsuit just waiting to happen. And uh, is this where we get our introduction of James Franco? I think it, it is. is. Yeah. Yep. Which, by the way, love him as an actor. He's really good. I didn't really like how what they did with him. God, that is so creepy. I'm sorry. His little smile there, laughing, like, so creepy. I'm sorry. He is not good at reading the room. <laughs> no, he's just good at so, being creepy and creeping on uh, yeah. Mary Jane Watson there. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Look, it's Willem Dafoe, Dafoe and James Franco. This is the Which first movie fair, I saw you... either of them in. So even watching like <laughs> Boondock Saints and all of the crazy drug movies James Franco has been in since then, yeah. it's still, hey! Yeah. <laughs> it's the Green Goblin. I, I, had seen, I had seen James Franco in other movies before I saw this. And then after I saw this, I was like, he was in every damn thing I watched. Because he was in Annapolis. He was in Flyboys. He was in a lot. Of, I mean, he was in a lot of those movies that I absolutely adore. So... The only real, it, the only real thing that gets me is like, if they're best friends, why wouldn't they pick up Peter and drive him too? Um, because he lives outside of the city, so it's out of their way and doesn't really make sense. Mm. I don't know. I mean, it's a Maybe. little weird that he's being dropped off at the location of the field trip and not at school. Yeah, normally or... you would go to the school and get checked in, then you'd go on the trip, but exactly. But then you couldn't have this little conversation go on. Yeah. I'm yeah. a little bit of a scientist myself. That that's real. That, that is the one part that always gets me. Is like, oh, nice to meet you. You would think they had met before. I mean, like, uh, like again, I said, maybe not because they're best, best friends. friends. Like, maybe James Franco, <laughs> Harry may have been too embarrassed to have his friend. You know, people come over to his big mansion. You know. No, well, that's fair. That's fair. So, although this part is. <laughs> Back when, okay, dude, that's just creepy. I don't care if you're, I don't care if you're dating. Even doing that is creepy. What smelling your girlfriend's hair? Yeah, yeah, getting your there, smelling her? your girlfriend's hair. That, I'm sorry, you don't do that, especially in public. But it's Joe. Is he a werewolf or a vampire? He got famous because of True Blood. Yeah, I'm sorry. I when this movie came out, my local newspaper had a whole section on him because he's from Pittsburgh. He's from Mount Lebanon. And they're like, local Mount Lebanon grad is in Spider-Man. And I'm like, That's fair. what? And here, here where they just get a bunch of spiders and mind you, to be fair, that would be pretty cheap to get a bunch of spiders like this. All you got to go, all you got to do is go to any zoo or greenhouse and be like, Hey, can we borrow some spiders? Yeah, and then the teacher coming in. Yeah, which to be well, fair, teacher, if teachers act shopping the like catching on and stopping it, right? Yeah, the most teacher movies, steps what in. What happened for way too long? Mm -hmm. He's not. He's not the bus driver and just like ah ha ha. This is funny. He's, right. No. Gosh, I'm sorry. Spiders creep me the fuck out. I do not like spiders. <laughs> I do not like spiders at all. So, I mean, I'm not. I'm not really arachnophobic. I just don't like them. I mean, because uh, like I've had tarantulas crawling on my hand, and it, you know I'm not freaking the flip out, but it's just I don't like them at all. So, all right, how about you? Are you afraid of spiders, or do you hate spiders? Um, I'm not gonna go touching them. Fair enough. Yeah. I like how Peter is like, no, I'm not gonna talk to her. You talk to her, and then he gets all <laughs> mad when he uses all of his lines. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, you're yeah, so well, afraid of talking to girls when... Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't be mad at Harry at this point, because at this point, you're just his wingman, and you it, you set him up for this. He did. And I mean, even that, really even that look back there is like, the, you asked for this? <laughs> you, you, set, you pitched it perfectly, and I and I hit it. You can't... Although oh, this part there's a 15 spider! If one of them escaped... There would they would be they would know they would they would not. definitely know and I'm sure they would have like locked it down to try to find it but maybe yeah. not yeah and there stop talking through the woman's presentation yeah and now now it's like okay go for it dude and yeah even again even Harry's like you know go for it dude don't yeah gosh this is. He's I mean, so I, I want to say this is so creepy, but to be fair, I've been that, so. I, 
I mean, it's kind of legit. He's taking photos for the yearbook. Yeah. Yeah, although like, the only part that really I, the only part that really gets me is that he because they, they do like a whole photo shoot here, and it's just like you just need like two or three pictures. So I, this isn't the digital age. He doesn't know if any of them are good until they develop. That's so true. That's I true. don't blame him for taking a whole bunch. Although and hoping one of them comes out. Yeah, although <laughs> but like I said, it is like I said, it is very much uh, you know, this is a whole photo shoot here. And that that one picture, I'm sorry, He's like loving that. it. Come on. That's yeah. what makes it not creepy, is that she keeps posing for him. She totally yeah. loves this attention. Yeah. Because if she did part, it, she could be like, okay, I'm good, and walk away. How do you not feel a spider on your hand? Although you're gonna feel that ow. Right. And he does. Although, why don't you step on it? I mean, as someone with long hair and who sheds, I sometimes don't feel like bugs on me because I think it's just like my hair like falling down my arm. Oh, I that reminds no, that reminds me. Um, a while ago, back when I lived in my less than ideal housing, I would constantly deal with spiders. But it just reminds me of once I got in the shower, <laughs> turned the shower on, you know, so I run my fingers through my hair. Oh, there's a spider. No. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So no. it, was, it was just a little house spider. So it, you know, but yeah, it was just, I had just gotten in the shower and then just, you know, like I said, I just was pouring water on my hair, just literally did that. And then when I brought my hair back, there's a spider. <laughs> Scared the shit out of me, but it wasn't, but yeah, it wasn't a deal. But yeah, it wasn't a big deal. Just swamp flushed him down the drain. <laughs> Right, it is a kind of situation of what kind of spider is it that bites you before? So, because like I said, if, if a well, I mean, there are so many spiders, and all spiders are venomous. Some, some, most spiders that bite you, not not gonna like. If you get bitten by a wolf spider, you're probably you're gonna feel it, and it's gonna hurt. You might get sick, but you're not gonna die. If you get bitten by a grass spider, same thing. If you get bitten by, by a black widow, well, now you're in trouble. <laughs> By a brown recluse, you're in trouble. Yeah, brown brown recluse is another one. So, but like I said, most most spiders, most spiders you encounter, especially if you're like in ur an urban area, probably not harmful. Are probably not yes, going to kill you. But those aren't. Well, this spider's not even a radioactive spider. Well, yeah. Well, okay. Let me put it this way: if you get bitten by a radioactive spider, you're probably dead, no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would never want to, oh, we're going to pull your funding and give it to them. I I don't think you'd be having this conversation in a meeting like this. I'm pretty sure it'd be a little bit like you're at an actual desk. But I, I, I feel like this is a kind of thing where, like, you have to reapply for the grant every year. And it's not something mm -hmm. that they can just decide last minute to pull your funding for. Yeah. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. James, you were actually in yeah. government contracts. How does that? How do they work? He's not paying attention. It's fine. I <sighs> don't worry about it. I think it depends. No, if you're if you're at working for the government and you have a contract with them or a grant or something, yeah, can they just pull it at any time? Or it depends on whatever the requirements are. Like any any professional business, if the government, if the company that's providing the service cannot provide said service then yes, the government can cancel that contract. Okay, okay. so what happened in Spider-Man right here is actually kind of feasible? It could be. Yeah. Is that real? Feasible. Completely Fair feasible. Enough. There we go. Then again, the Osbournes would have also been paid at this point. He is 68 years old. Mm-hmm. So. How is... He got laid off as a 68-year-old electrician. I have so many questions about that. One, just retire? Uh, I'm assuming I'm assuming he probably just retired. Two, you're an electrician. Can't you like do stuff freelance? Like I feel like you'd be able to find a job somewhere as an electrician. Yeah. Uh, if he comes in like if I'm sorry, if I've ever if I ever come in like the house like that, my my parents would be, you know, okay, what's wrong? Something's up. My parents would probably assume I'm sick and my mom would bring me a cup of tea and be like, yeah. let me take your temperature. Yeah, but they wouldn't just let you go up to your room and be like, and just leave you. Eh, also, you are, also, you are really, if you don't even manage to get on the bed, you are really screwed up. <laughs> 
Look at that spider bite. Oh yeah, that's well, that's about size. That's yeah, the size of like a golf ball. Yeah, you don't. No one's gonna notice that. <laughs> that's disgusting. Although to be, this is very granted. Okay, granted, this is Sam Raimi directing this. Was very much a horror movie director, and we will really see him really go out all out on the horror movie next movie. But yeah, but yeah, this like that scene is straight out of a horror movie. Uh, but I love it. Yeah. Now, the question that always gets me is like, okay, they're te testing out a uh, superhuman serum, basically, based from what it looks like, obviously. Oh, but... yeah, no, I'm pretty sure in the comics, he's trying to recreate the Captain America formula, the super soldier yeah. formula. Yeah. Because that's what everything's based around in the Marvel universe. Yeah, of course. He's trying to no. recreating it. It goes wrong and creates a new superhero yeah. or villain. Yeah. No, the, my issue is that, you know, recreate, okay, the formula, yeah, I can understand the kind of funding for that. But the glider thing that he had, that thing's freaking awesome. You mean to tell me that the government's not interested in that glider? <laughs> yeah, I don't. You would think they would still want that. But I guess yeah. when you see the exoskeleton, though, you see that it's got, like, the built-in jetpack. So what use do you have? Like, what do you need a glider for? That's fair. If the, you know? Yeah. But you would think even normal people would be able to ride the glider okay. Yeah, you think. Yeah, well, yeah, even privatize that. I mean, like I said, imagine you privatize that, sell it to just normal people, and it's like, hey, it's a segue <laughs> that flies. <laughs> just like, can you imagine sidewalks full of, like, punk kids on, on gliders? That would actually probably be bad. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> That would actually probably be bad because <laughs> there's people flying around on these gliders everywhere. Yeah. The the other oh man. I understand did I'm assuming they had already done oh, on the so all the tests on mice that they could do, but oh my gosh. Is it working? It's working. <laughs> Look at those muscles growing on the computer screen. Yeah, okay, to be fair, if your muscles would ever grow like that, you would be... But that's, that's not what happened with thing. Captain America. We've all seen that movie. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying in real life. <laughs> yeah, no. Muscles don't grow like that. Muscles don't exponentially grow like that with, without some complications. Oh, he's... He's dead. Yep. Man down, man down. I kind of feel bad for this doctor. Yeah. Which is unfortunate. Back to formula. <laughs> yeah. Although he's doing the smart thing, get in there, you know. Right, he's it. actually doing CPR. Yeah. Oh, he saved him. Although that's the, how did he get out of the restraints? Because he's super strong now. Back to formula. <laughs> yeah, okay. And Willem Dafoe, totally cheesy, totally going full cheese right there. Love right. it. Whole Look at me! I'm the yeah. King Goblin. Yeah, gotta get those that... comic book shots in there. I love it. Yeah, this is also my favorite. He grabs his yeah. glasses as if he doesn't already notice. Hey, I can read my clock without my glasses. <laughs> yeah, no that's doubt. definitely what I think of when I first wake up in the morning. I look at the clock, and that's usually when I realized I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. But granted, like, I'd be super confused. <laughs> Before I got LASIK, if I woke up one morning, looked at the clock, and been like, I would have either thought I slept with my contacts in, or I already had my glasses on for some dumb reason. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sorry. It's just totally like suddenly all muscular. <laughs> yep, big change. <laughs> Everybody saw that one. Everybody gets it. There's a joke for the parents. Because I remember when I first watched this movie, I didn't quite get it. But Grant, when this first came out, I was, uh, let's see, 2002. So I, I would have like, been. Doesn't he start I touching? Been, oh, yeah. He was like touching himself. Look at my muscles. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. Now, I don't remember. Was, was uh, in the comics, <laughs> did, I don't remember in the comics, did Mary Jane live next to him growing up? I don't remember that in the comics. <laughs> no. Remember in the comics, he actually does know Gwen Stacy first. Yeah. And when he's dating Gwen Stacy, like towards the end of that, just before she dies, and, or maybe it's after she dies. I don't know. But he doesn't know Mary Jane first. He knows Gwen Stacy first. Yeah. And then Aunt Mays is friends with 
Mary Jane's mother and they set them up on a okay. blind date. I see. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, and in this, they just, I mean, my grand in this, they just completely cut out Gwen Stacy, at least in the early right. part. Which, I mean, to be like, fair, at this point, again, between Sunday comics and the 90s TV show, most people didn't know about Gwen Stacy unless you read the comics or, like me, you looked everything up on Wikipedia because you didn't have access to the comics and wanted to know what happened. So, yeah. <clears throat> average viewers just only knew MJ. Yeah, that's fair. So it kind of made sense to just start with her and only have her. Yeah, and then this is some. This is something I I do not understand at all because this. Granted, I'm assuming most big cities have something like this, where you have to walk away for your bus stop. I did. I lived in a small town. The bus stop was literally right out my flipping door. <laughs> yeah, and then again. And so I think it depends on a few things with bus stops, right? It depends on, like. Where is a safe place to have a bus stop in your area and how many people live in proximity to it? I mean, if it yeah. was him and her and they were the only two kids on the whole street, they might have the stop right in front of their two houses, especially if Maybe. they live right next door to that. Like, mm -hmm. That's fair. But like I said, I would assume in big cities you have to actually walk a little bit for a bus stop. I would assume anyway. I, again, I think it depends on the street. And you, actually, I would think it might be the opposite because it would be safer for the kids to get picked up closer to their house rather than walking along the busy streets for too long. That's true. That's true. Good point. Yeah. Um, but I also feel like in big cities, you might actually take like legit buses to school. Yeah. And not just school yeah. Buses. yeah. City buses, not. Yeah. And Will Willem Dafoe acting subdued for once. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here, this part. This part. Uh, don't you guys have like? Oh, I don't know. Security cameras to realize. Hey, how? You would did think they would like a super high like security a place super high they tech. have. Well, I mean, let's just look at it. A super high tech glider and bodysuit got stolen, as well as a guy died. Oh my God, her outfit you would think, is amazing. I mean, you think they, this part? Okay, this part here. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> I, I remember amazing. I remember hearing like there was some parody channel where it's like, oh yeah, Toby McGuire actually did that. Uh, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. <laughs> but yeah. How did you not notice without his glasses? Yeah. It's not like glasses, lenses, yeah, I'm like sorry. again, a little bit creepy. A little color. bit creepy. Yeah, again, a little bit creepy of just I mean, yeah, he's but she's also next door neighbors to him, so I'm yeah. sure like but to be fair, she also is they're crushing familiar. Him. She also right? likes him. Let's just be real. And the spork sticks you in hand. I'm sorry. At this point, you just, okay. At this point, I think you just, okay, leave, leave, figure out what's going on. <laughs> but this, but yeah, thank would God no one noticed flashed him. in the back of the head. <laughs> yeah, don't at this point you don't just act like you're eating your food or or leave. You're just one or the other. You do not that's acknowledge what he does. He it. Leaves, because, but unfortunately, yeah. the tray. Still Although, how don't pick up the tray at least. Make it look like you're walking out with the tray. Don't just have it in your <laughs> hand. He doesn't really get what's going on. Like I completely understand why that happens. Yeah. Oh my god, that one girl's pants was awesome. <laughs> yeah, I did. I didn't see the, who you're talking about. I just noticed it, like, when he was walking by. Somebody had, like, patchwork, like, really flurry yeah. pants. And it was just... Ah. <laughs> and then, yeah, and here... This is a good good, uh, good showing of what the spider sense does. Oh, the does spitball, though. Did we really yeah. need the slow-mo spitball? Yeah. Whoa! Ouch! Punching a locker like that would hurt your hand. Nah. Joe's pretty strong. I'm sure he didn't even need a yeah, stunt I locker. <laughs> <laughs> James says it doesn't take much to dent a locker with your fist. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. I do like this part where he's just like, where he's just watching it. Although to be fair, don't fight back. Just dodge. Just 100% 
dodge around. He's just going on reflexes part, again. He part. has no idea what he's doing right now. Yeah, I do that love that. That was a ridiculous part. flip. Let's face it. He just did like six flips I do, in the air. I do love that part. It's like, help him, Harry. Which one? <laughs> Ouch. Ouch. I mean, this dude is now married to Sophia. What's her face? <laughs> just going to kick. Really? This was the first movie he was in. And you see him now. <laughs> He's married to Sophia? I love Joe. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Although Joe to be fair, is, everybody's looking at him all weird. I was like, uh, yeah, I'd be looking at him all weird. It's like he just knocked someone across the flipping room. With oh. one punch, right? Like something. He up. didn't start the yeah. fight. Yeah. He, he was just I, I mean, like dodging the whole time. He was he was number one. Yeah, he was just defending himself. But yeah. And here there here's where they went all out on the uh it's biological. It, how the yeah. web is biological versus the mechanical web. I remember I reading prefer, something as to I why Sam the, Raimi like the decided to go with the biological, biological web. I mean, it, for the movie, it, it kind of almost makes sense, yeah. right? Like, why wasn't it just biological in the yeah. comics to begin with? Yeah, it is, it is one of those things where it's like, okay, which do you prefer, the biological one? Or the the mechanical one that he builds it. Um, I, I mean, kind of like the, the biological mechanical one. The only real is issue that, I have with like, that is that if how it smarty is, though, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, one hundred percent. So, but it does. I do need like so the only real thing I have with it being bio biological is that you would have to eat so much in order to produce that much web. That's fair. Whee! Oh my God, Although CGI to be fair, if I could do this, terrible. yeah, if I could do this, I would be doing the like, same thing. <laughs> I just don't understand why him running on the rooftop was CGI'd. Like you couldn't film him running and just CGI the jumps in between. But you then again, I don't actually, understand how special effects work. So yeah. maybe it was easier yeah. to just CGI. No, that that them. one they they certainly could have done. Up, up and away, Web. They oh, easily could have done fly. that practically. There it is. Yeah, you know, he's just, he's like, how do you do it? I, I do love the Shazam though in there. Go. Yeah. <laughs> That's my it's, favorite. It's Shazam, one heart, <laughs> and mind you, obviously Shazam is, uh, yeah. No, the only real thing, the only well, thing that, that I don't way, think is that he kind of, I would have made it that he, like, it, I would have made it that he accidentally did it, and it's like, oh, because it looks like he intentionally does it. Yeah, this no, part. No, because he goes from doing uh, this, this to looking at his it. hand. It was by accident that he figured it out. I mean, but like this isn't exactly a yeah. natural thing at this, all. This I would so not. So it'd be kind of hard. No, gosh, no, no, no. And of course, Ow. in discovering Ow. his new powers, he completely forgot he was it, supposed what, to be home in time. Knocking out for a couple hours. The kitchen. Yeah, he didn't help paint. I'm sorry. And this was. But, well, I shouldn't. I shouldn't say that this was before the age of cell phones, but this is when it, cell phones were not really a big thing yet. Uh, I mean, cell I phones mean, were at this point. Cell phones would still be like. A no, break. you're right. I did not have a cell phone yet at this time. Yeah. 2002. Michelangelo. I do like I do like the callback. Michelangelo meet low light left in the fridge. God, yeah. And I don't know if uh, I can't remember if Mary Jane was abused in the comics. I don't think she was, but no. I, I don't think I she was. Exactly she that. lived with her mom. I didn't read Spider-Man comics, unfortunately. No, yeah. Spider-Man's the what comic I didn't read is one of the comics I didn't read. I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja, 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 Ninja Turtle comic. I am sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied so easily. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it can scream pretty good sometimes. It's just they're old, so they can't really do it for long. <laughs> it doesn't really project. <clears throat> no, old people yelling still projects because my yeah. neighbors used to yell all the time. 
Uh, let me, let me just put it this way. If my grandpa ever yelled, you ran. <laughs> if my grandpa ever yelled, it was get to the flipping cellar. <laughs> same to granted, same thing with my grandma. Although I do, I do love, um, it just reminds me, my grandparents were, were they, uh, my, they adored each other, but I will never forget, like growing up, my grandpa would just egg my grandmother on. So it's just, he would just say something to piss her off. And then, you know, she'd get angry. You just look at him. He's got this little smile on his face. I mean, Grant, like I said, they, uh, they did love each other, but they, they, my, granted, my grandma would do the same thing to him. So they just love, as much as they loved each other, they loved to, piss each other off too so like if she wants to go and become an actress you mean to tell me she hasn't done any school plays since the first grade yeah no doubt yeah it's like i cried like a baby when you played cinderella that was first grade yeah that's yeah that's yeah. why she really has, has she not done any acting since then or what like yeah she had to have been yeah, in like school think... plays and stuff throughout high school yeah yeah, I like I did. I mean, I was never on stage for school. Well, I, I take it back. I was only ever on stage once, but that was for a mistake. Um, but yeah, I was always like, I was always like doing the lighting or the background stuff. And when I did my own, like when we made movies in high school, I was never really on camera because I like I like being behind camera. I like doing behind the scenes stuff. The only time I was ever on stage was I was running from one because the, the curtains were closed and I was running from one end of the stage to the other because we had to get a prop set up. And they kind of, they for some reason, I don't remember what happened, but for some reason, they opened the curtains up a little bit early. So they opened the curtains up and I'm standing right there with, and I look out at the crowd. And it's like, oh shit. But they, thankfully, they closed the curtains pretty quickly after. So I was like, okay. But yeah, that was the only time I was ever on stage, and it was one of those things where it's just freaky as all hell. I guess uh, Peter yeah. did a good job of cheering her up because she went from being all pouty yeah. to being way too excited about this car. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. And to be fair, going out this late at night... If your parents don't care, easily done. If your parents do care, good luck. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, okay, I need to buy and a her car. her parents are just yelling at her to take out the trash. Yeah. Now he wants a car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, amateur wrestlers, $3,000. Like, yeah, congrats. For three minutes in the ring. <laughs> a col uh, Did that say color for character a must? And I uh, gosh, the colorful whole... character must yes. Costume possibility. Did you like the overlay of the car on her face? <laughs> well, dude, to be fair, this is exactly how they would do it in the comics. This is very much how I would look in the comics. So he's going all in on the spider motif. Needs more. Well, color. yeah, you were bit by a spider. Yeah. I'm glad he knows what color the spider was that bit him. Yeah, no doubt. Thank, thank God he saw before. it. <laughs> yeah, the, the little clip of Mary Jane there's a little added, but... Yeah. <laughs> From the window. How does yeah. she not notice that he can see... Yeah, how do you... Yeah, yeah that, that is one of those... How do you not notice? Yeah, she's Dr. Pepper. Missed. Missed. Ah, you broke your window! Or your window... Your, no window, picture frame. Broke the wait. Why he's gonna break the lamp. lamp. I'm but sorry. It's okay. You, I mean, I like that. The, I like that he's getting practice wait. with that. But I'm. But I'm also like, why would you uh, do it in your bedroom? You not, right. How did you not see the idea of pulling a lamp directly at your face could end in bad? <laughs> Look, the lamp's back. He didn't break it, or he got a new one out, or he fixed it. He fixed it. Magic. <laughs> Yeah, Oscorp loses. May lose contract to Quest. Yeah. Is it okay? To be fair, it. I don't know of a situation where you would go from have, having a lot of money to being dead broke overnight. Um. I mean, I do. I mean, I do know it can happen. I'm not saying it can't. But you mean to tell me they were all in on this one government contract and didn't have any other forms of making money? I think that's like. 
the biggest thing, right, is how does Oscorp not have other things going on? But if, like, losing that contract could severely hurt their stocks, which, well, yeah. would, which could kill the company. And like yeah, well, he, it would certainly hurt, it would certainly hurt the stocks and kill the company, but I seriously doubt he would go broke overnight. You'd be surprised I mean, if would, he has a lot of like credit card debt because he runs it up all the time. That's fair because he that's makes fair. so much. As soon as you start like income stops coming in and you can't pay your credit cards, I feel like that's what happens to a lot of these people. Or maybe he doesn't do his taxes right. I don't know, but it's not completely uncommon for like the CEO of a company like this to go bankrupt. Yeah. You know, I, what you said though, is if he had a lot of debt, which to be fair, if comp if a company were to pick up a lot of debt developing this stuff, then hell, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. It would, if, yeah. if you took on a hell lot of a debt to develop this and then all of a sudden you lose your contract, then yes. But like I, but like I said, I really, really find it imp implausible that they don't, don't have any other sources of income going for them. I get it's just the idea of having to change your lifestyle because you get used to a certain level and yeah. And yeah. I think losing well, I a contract yeah. like this would actually like hurt their stocks to the point where it may kill the company. Like, mm -hmm. cause that's how wall street works. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, but the, oh, the only real other thing, the I, best I, line. come on. The only other thing that really gets me is how do you not have money in the bank at this point saved up if you're doing stuff like that? But Look, to be fair, to be fair, I do don't know. understand how these people think because we're not like them. And I've accepted yeah, that. That's fair. No. Oh, but, no. But Peter, why me. did you say that? Yeah, that was, yeah, dick move. Dick move. That was, that was harsh. Yeah. Apologize now. Don't leave. Yeah, apologize now. Say, I love you, uncle. I'm sorry. No, no. No. He's in his even a, even a, even as a teenager, you should realize what you said was wrong. But yeah, they just need to cool off. Although here the, the New York Library, uh, the New York Library, which is a real place, really cool. I really want to go there sometime. <laughs> didn't they have? Didn't weren't they? Didn't they have that? Oh yeah, the um, uh, what was that one disaster movie where they pretty much live in that place? Uh, uh the day after tomorrow. Thank you. Yes, the day after tomorrow. That's a movie we'll probably have to get. <laughs> did they get Randy oh, Savage for this? Yeah. <laughs> How did you not remember that? It's Randy I'm Savage. I'm sorry, I couldn't remember that. <laughs> this movie has yeah. a lot of great cameos. Yeah. From a lot of people who were famous. See, look, we've got Bruce Campbell because yeah, I, I know Bruce Campbell's movie, in this. A Sam Raimi movie isn't complete without a Bruce Campbell cameo. I was just about to say that exact same thing. <laughs> it's so. like. That I think there's the quick and the dead didn't have Bruce Campbell in it, but that's because all of his scenes were deleted. He was supposed to be in it. Oh, yeah. he, and yeah, I think yeah, there's yeah. actually another movie where another Sam Raimi movie he's not in, but well, it's doesn't very he rare. said that Bruce Campbell and Sam Raimi are like best friends, so yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, it's Octavia Spencer. Yep, <laughs> and by the way. I love her. She owns every scene she is ever in, and I love her to death. She is awesome. I really wish she was, because unfortunately she doesn't do a lot of big, she's never like the lead actress. She's always the background, and I. but every scene she's in, she owns. That ring is kind of small. Ready? <laughs> Yeah. Them, so, babe. yeah, that's certainly <laughs> Randy Savage could not, be, could not not be Randy Savage. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this part here. What's your name, Kim? That's it. That's the best you got. <laughs> Yeah, and then here, that, I do like that he's like, screw you, I got this, and he does far better. <laughs> the Amazing Spider-Man, there you go. The Amazing Spider-Man. He got my name wrong, that's not my name. Yeah, get out there, you moron, yeah. You're here to get, <laughs> you're here to survive, assuming you don't die, so yeah. Although to be fair, 
I do know a lot of I do know a lot of actors in especially early on in their career. They do have to do shit like this, and it's unfortunate. Yeah, <laughs> and this guy, my legs, my legs. I just like the ski mask with the spider like sweater. Yeah, not even a sweater. It's like a long sleeve. It's shirt. a long sleeve shirt that he made to look like a web. It's a very good uh, screen. The only real thing that screen the, paint job. Oh, well. The only thing that gets me here is how did he not know he was signing up for a cage match? <laughs> Although that cage is so flimsy, I'm sorry. Randy Savage just here, and I'm swear, if Randy Savage had yeah. actually pulled, he could have broken. Although there is no way they would lock them in because if there was a medical emergency, you would need to get in there fast. And like I, I mean, said, the ad that he signed up for didn't say anything about a cage match. So I mean, yeah, yeah. And like I said, Randy Savage cannot not be Randy. Randy Savage. <laughs> Staying away from you. <laughs> See, he's quippy. <laughs> there we get the snark. <laughs> there we got some snark. Cute outfit. Did your husband get it for you? Yeah. Yeah. Although, uh, watch this. Ouch. <laughs> Would you get a nice view of his butt? <laughs> he's got a cute little butt. Look at that. Look at it. It looks like pillows. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> oh my god! You, I will let you go all fan servicing on that. Um, I although hitting him with a golf club, this would be assault with a deadly weapon, wouldn't it? I mean, granted, I this must be a, like an underground type of thing where legal, where they're not really paying attention. Ouch! Oh, crowbar! Did you look at those bars? They're so bouncy. Yeah. Like, well, like I said, like I said, if if Randy Savage had tried and then when he grabbed it, he could have easily pulled it, broken it off. And the cage like magically, the cage magically opens up, even though it was chained shut. <laughs> Which is yeah. Like no, it did, it did open up when they lifted it. Yeah. No, this part here is like. It's like yeah. Uh, It's like, okay, the ad said 3,000. Okay, you, it's like, you pinned him in two. Wouldn't that mean that he gets two grand? Three grand for three minutes, he was in the ring for two grand? Wouldn't that mean, I don't know. I mean, if he really wanted to, you could probably take him to, like, petty court or something, right? Yeah. I don't really know how that works. Granted, like I, granted, like I said, though, is if this were a, um like an underground thing that's not exactly legal, then yes, I could certainly understand this and you're screwed. Yeah, but I mean, it was an ad in the newspaper, so. Yeah. Oh, there was a police officer right there. I swear to God, I saw a police officer in the corner. Yep. There yeah, there was. See? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no police officer would ever say that because – if you are ever in a situation and a robber's running at you, do not get in his way, especially if he's armed. He will shoot your ass. Too much just of a liability. Don't, yeah, one hundred percent. Don't, don't not just don't get in the way. Just let him go because your life is not worth the money. But he has superpowers. He totally could have taken. Oh yeah, he could have. Well, not that the security guard or the other dude knew that. Yeah. But. Okay, to be fair, if you have superpowers, then yes, do it. If you are Superman and you see a criminal coming at you, go ahead and melt his flipping face. But if you don't, which most people, I'm assuming, do not have superpowers in any way, just let him go. Yeah, they're... they're also, it, how, they would... cop, like, how was the cop outside the door not able to stop him? Was he not paying yeah, attention that cop when the was, dude yeah, was there? That was a rent-a-cop. I'm just going to put it that way. That's, that security that... cop is so useless. Yeah, I'm just going to put it that that was a rent-a-cop. That was not a real cop. Oh, no, Uncle Ben. He got shot. No, Uncle Ben. Say you're sorry. Say you're sorry. I love you, blah, blah, blah. Go home. Um, would they... Would, would I'm still trying to figure out how he knew you... that was his uncle when he couldn't see anything from all the people in this way still. Yeah. But it's okay. I don't would they allow would they allow like like would they allow a loved one to come up to this if someone were shot or would they want you to stay back? I don't know. I don't know either. 
Well, it, where's the EMT? Yeah. Oh, there. It was just and now they're pulling up. Oh. Yeah, they got the shooter heading on Fifth Avenue, and now, yeah, it's like now he's pissed. And I do know that if you ever lose someone because of something like this, revenge is the first thing on your mind. I know that. So, yeah. And that and went to CGI so fast they didn't even did. try and to be fair. Effects. The the cut from the cut from practical to CGI was seamless. I'm gonna turn this one on. Okay. Yeah. This is this is a really they do this really good. Of just him crawling up the wall so quickly, and then yeah, it's like apparently, always he's also, apparently he was also really like really into gymnastics and stuff like that. <laughs> and I do like how he when they because I do like how early on when he's jumping, he's not really he's not really coordinated. He's very you know he's very flailing around trying to get used to it. He's not really yeah into it yet. Although I will say, doing this through New York would be a very fast way of transit. Ah! Yeah, whip over. Ow, dear. Like, I remember reading an article when this came out about how the CGI team was, like, trying to figure out how the physics of web slinging would actually, like, look on a human body. And they were just like, it. It's not actually physical. It would actually tear you apart. So it was really interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it would be insane. Now, is this the scene where he will like fly, flip through a semi-truck or is that later? Because there's a scene I clearly remember where a semi-truck's driving by with a trailer and he goes right through that little gap. I, I don't know if that's this one or not. I don't know. I don't know if it's this one or the next movie. Yeah, uh, punch through the ceiling. Yep, jump out into the semi. Although, how is it that... Why are no cars pulling over to the cops that have, clearly have their sirens running? Doc! That's <laughs> yeah, more fun to jump. Car. Whee! <laughs> I think... I, I'm i sorry. I would think that the cops with their lights going on would, would be enough for people to stop. <laughs> it should be. Ouch! Yeah. And here is a situation that I know all cops absolutely hate. Um, you know a guy's in here. You know he's got a gun. But hey, look, you reloaded. Yeah. Yeah, but this is 100%. I know the cops hate this because you know the guy's in there and you know he has a gun, but which corner is he behind? You don't know. Yeah. Talk about out. Uh. He should really be working to get the gun out of his hand first. Nah, it's fine. Oh, That'll God, work. a knife? Wait, where'd the knife come from? What happened he to the gun? He put it out of his pocket. He still has the gun, though. No, I think he dropped it. I don't know why you would pull the knife out of your pocket if you hadn't dropped the gun. Yeah. What about my uncle? Oh, my God, it's a robber from earlier. Yeah. Wait, we got a flashback in case you forgot already. Yeah, hold, yeah. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure the robber would understand, would be like, yeah. He does. He smirks here because he realizes that the it's the kid who let him go before. Although See? you don't. Bone snapping. Bye. Oh my God, Peter, you just killed someone. Yeah. Don't stand in the yeah. Don't, don't stand in the window. Don't Literally take cover. Don't get seen. Yeah, hide, hide oh now. God. Don't marvel at your thing and hide, because the last thing you want is for the yeah. Because now you're wanted for murder. What I want to know is why did they take the spotlight off of him? Yeah. They would have kept it on him, but see, obviously, they took it off because he yeah, was they took it off going back to the window. There's no way he, there's no way he could have escaped from there without being seen in some way. 
Like, I guess I could understand if he jumped out and climbed up the window and, like, onto the roof and escaped from there, but... Yeah. but. No, realistically, the only way... Yeah, here, you come home and you... I'm pretty sure the the police would have told him... Well, okay, how much time has passed between then and now? Would the police have been able to tell Aunt May before now? I'm pretty sure the police would have been pretty on top of that. I think, yeah, I think the police would have told, would probably have been, or at least if if they hadn't already told her, they would be there at that time telling her. Yeah. Yeah. And this part here, it's like, okay, we got the bunker in the background, which is clearly just paper mache. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry, that is so cheaply made there. I could make that, give me a hundred bucks and I could make that exact same thing. <laughs> Why are there still people out there with a 15-second countdown going? You'd think they would have cleared it before that. Why would nothing please you more than put Osborne out of business? And uh, here, he has we, a personal grudge against Osborne for some reason. Yeah. Come on. If we look at, if we look at the uh, suit he's flying here, it is, uh, I be, it's, a, it's a cameo to another villain. I don't know if it's a Spider-Man villain, but the Scorpion. Because if, if you look, that's very much the Scorpion. Design. Yeah, you're... Ouch. And to be fair, what remember what I said that that whole thing was set up very cheaply? We saw exactly why. That way they could blow it up and if something went wrong, they could make an easily make another one, no problem blow that one up. They're graduating high school already. That was hey. fast. We're Although it doesn't be said that they're clearly college age, but hey. Uh, I mean, We'll just I think Tobey Maguire is about 24 or 26 when he does this. 24, uh, about, 24. I think. 22, 24. Yeah, he was he was certainly in his 20s. Yeah, and here. That this is the I do enjoy this because they really unfortunately they really kind of gloss over um uh, Uncle Ben's death. I like how the amazing Spider-Man did it better than what this one did here. But well, also right here, you have to, if you're not, you got to pay attention. They're breaking up. Yeah, this is kind of a throw it all at the screen, throw, throw, throw. Yeah, um, and it's just they're throwing a lot at the screen. They're throwing a lot at the audience right now, and yep. not all of it really sticks perfectly. But oh man, look, <laughs> you want if you want to date this movie, look at that old school. That, that is uh, an old old school TV. Out, look at like, that. That's when he asked her out, though. But you don't. It doesn't really look like he's asking her out at the time. You just yeah. he just watches them break up, and then yeah. later you realize, oh. Well, then he walks towards her. But yeah. But, so okay. Yeah. Um, wouldn't there be a party you find it later? Hold on, hold on. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it was, but when when I graduated, there was a big party for all the seniors. Like we we went from the graduation party directly to this other party. Was it? Did nope. you no? Nope. Okay. Mine was they, just like that. They had graduation. All the students and the parents milled about the high school, taking photos with friends and yourself and family, and then you went and did your own thing. No, oh, when I when I graduated, we graduated, we got our diplomas, everybody threw their hats up, we did the whole picture things, and then all the students went and had a big old party. <laughs> nope, so, my school didn't throw any parties. Okay. <laughs> So, granted, I did go to a private Catholic school, so maybe that's why. No, I think every school's just different. Yeah, that's true. That's fair. Because um, I've talked to some, I know some other people whose schools did similar things. Um, some schools have, like, after proms. Others don't even have, I mean, most schools have proms, but, like, every prom is different. High school is just one of those weird things where everyone does it differently. And I remember the pizza we got for the party was very, very bad. <laughs> That was not good pizza. I don't can't see any high school spending good money on pizza. Yeah. Yeah. So No, the fun part for me was cuz our our party actually took place that was at the high school. We had a lock in at the high school, which was fun, but It was certainly it was very much it was very cheaply thrown together cuz they had they had like a poker set up, they had a, a dance set up and they had a couple of inflatables, but yeah, it was not they didn't spend a lot of money on this. This was very much uh, cheap setup. What? They had inflatables? Yeah. yeah. They had inflatables. It just sounds like a typical high school dance except for the inflatables. Okay. You, okay. You know how... Okay. I'm not great. I don't know how your high school was, but my high school had two gyms. 
So in one gym, they had the dance going on. In the other gym, they had the inflatables. And then in the little corner in between, they had like little like uh, poker tables or and whatnot. So interesting. So unfortunately, I would if I would go to the school and give you and give you like blueprints. But unfortunately, I was literally the last class to graduate from that school before it got torn down. Ouch! That order. Ouch! Yeah, mass man foils robberies. And I do, yeah, this. And we, <laughs> I love the St. Bernard in the background. I'll, okay, great. I just love St. Bernard's. St. Bernard's are so fun. I love those dogs. I just, I just love dogs to begin with. And here, yeah. Yeah, wee. He throws his hands out, ropes come out. Like, yeah, I love this. Whole I hear he has eight arms. Sounds yeah. sexy. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming. Give it time. I know. Is that Chester Bennington? Jeez. Was it? I don't know. It looked like him. Ouch. Courtesy your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. There it is. There. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he here, would say about his butt. <laughs> yeah. Here. I really, I don't know who that guy is, but he really reminds me of Keith Urban. <laughs> and I almost kind of wish they had gotten Keith Urban to do this because I know he probably would have. And here we go with the best part of the movie right here. Yes! <laughs> J. Jonah Jameson is my favorite part of these movies. He is so fun. I love him. He's just so perfect. <laughs> he play, it's just so, I, like I said, he's my favorite part of the movie. And he was, uh, if we all, I and should there's mention. there's Ted Raimi, because Sam Raimi always has his brother in the movies as well, most of the time. And like I said, I just love him so much. And there is uh, Elizabeth Banks. <laughs> yeah, I saw her. Which, to be fair, uh, unfortunately, Elizabeth Banks is wasted in these movies, but I do. But Elizabeth Banks is, is another actress where if you were, were to literally replace the two, they would play it exactly the same, and it would, it would be so awesome. Yeah, and I do love this. It's like, okay, he's selling papers. Get him on the front page. I like the brief mention of Eddie Brock there that they don't well, ever show in these yeah. movies. Until the third I, I one. missed that. I missed but that. they I do mention that. it just to show that, you know, for future setup in case they use them. Yeah. I'll make them infamous. Okay, now is this? Oh, they just run. Yeah, I'm sorry. You just ran into her, right? Yeah. It's a small city. She works. She works at. She works at like a Hooters type setup. Uh, it's it looks just like a '50s diner. She's yeah. dressed like a normal well, waitress. Yeah. Well, the way she, the way she's covering up is is just very it very much reminds. She doesn't want him to know that she's a waitress. Ah, that's fair. But yeah, no, she does look super creepy about the way she's holding her coat. Yeah. And when she flashes him in a second here to show that she's a waitress. <laughs> yeah, well, to be fair, everybody has crappy jobs at work. Well, she looks up. like she's flashing him. Yeah, she does. <laughs> But but everybody has had crappy jobs at one point in their life, and I like I know I have. I'm pretty sure you have too. Everybody has a crappy job at some point in their life. It's just you. Well, that's what Peter's saying. He's like, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. Yeah. Like, waiting to eight, you got to make money somehow. Yeah. And I know, I know, and here's, and you want to know that you're like, okay, well, here's a great example. I know paleontologists who have to bartend and serve tables because being a paleontologist does not pay well. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that job pays all that well. Well, you, well you, here's the fun part because, well, you know how, how much I love dinosaurs. Why didn't I go into paleontology? Because, oh, shit, it doesn't pay well. It's one of those things where if you're not like the best in your field and getting all the grants and going on all the cool digs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, just shut up, dude. <laughs> Don't tell Harry. <laughs> what, oh my god, how did she just know? wait tables in those shoes? Those look super impractical. I, I didn't see her shoes. Well, she's wearing like high heels. 
They were sandal high heels with pointed toes. Oh, oh yeah, like, that would not be comfortable at all. Yeah. <laughs> this is an awesome. Okay, to be, I would love to have this apartment. <laughs> But again, Harry's paying, like, Harry's dad's paying for it. That's yeah. why they have this amazing apartment. Yeah, that is, I would so love to have that apartment because, honestly, it's so that cool. TV. Why is there a basketball in there? Do they have a basketball hoop? <laughs> I, <do. laughs> I like that. You look like you just got second place in the science fair. I wish I, I got second place in the science <laughs> fair. Jeez. My science fair project... He usually gets first in the science yeah, that's fair. True. That's the joke. Yeah, that's true. Fair enough. Although the staircase in the middle of the room is not exactly what I would call safe. Yeah, that's a little weird. Okay, are Harry and... Uh, are they supposed to be roommates at this point? Yeah. Or? Okay. That's what MJ just said. I see. To, uh, Peter Parker and Harry are, uh, they live together. Okay, fair enough. For some reason, for for some reason, I thought, I thought he was still living with Aunt May, but my, that's my bad. That's my bad. No, he moved further into the city to attend school and to try to get a job as a photographer. Mm -hmm. I guess uh, the commute from Aunt May's, wherever suburb she lives in, was too much. Ouch. Uh, um, I'm going to say this. Never, ever, ever try to rob a flipping armed oh, bank, a uh, band like that, because it will not work out for a while. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> oh, God. That was... Uh, that I don't know if it killed you, but it was hurt like hell. Okay, a couple of these pictures, I'd be going, how the hell did you get this shot? Right. <laughs> I, I do. I do like. I do like. Uh, I like how the only snark he's done so far since the uh, wrestling was telling them to yeah. say cheese when the camera went off. Oh my god! Pre digital cameras. Yeah, here I'll give you three hundred. That's the standard freelance speed. <laughs> and here we see how the media. Okay, and I've, I've said this before. I'm going to say it again. Any point, if, if people want to say about, oh, fake news, fake media, you go back through history, it's gotten, it's been a hell of a lot worse than what we have now. I can point to many, many times of it being a hell of a lot worse than now. People will say a lot of things just to sell a paper. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. People will say, even, even I mean, like, even back, I mean, not I even. Betty, 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 Betty. Grant. Betty Grant! <laughs> yeah, they really could have done more with her character. Yeah. No, when you were saying Betty, I was like, Betty White? I, I don't no, know. No, I was trying to think of her character's name, because Betty Grant yeah. was in the comics. She's, mm -hmm. like, kind of a love interest for Peter Parker, but she's also, like, a... She also, like, hates Spider-Man, like, one of those characters. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. I like that. Yeah. Okay, now here's the here's the part that really gets me. As of today, Oscorp Industries has surpassed the other blah 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 as the number one military supplier. You would be rolling in the money, right? Their stocks would be up so high. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there, our stocks have never been higher. Uh, but the part that happens here, of uh, we're going, we are now taking over. We're kicking you out. I'm sorry. No, they're not going to kick you out because he just, you know, I'm sorry. Like I said, the stocks have never been higher. You would be, they'd be praising you. Well, the other thing is too, if it's got his name on it, I would assume that he's got the majority stocks you would think. and that they wouldn't be able to do something with like this without his buy-in. Yeah. You would think. Like that's the whole point of starting yeah. a company is that you end up keeping so much of the stock that they they can't do this to. Yeah, I, I uh, but like I said, I really, I really, really question even even if he ended up having to give the majority shares to uh, to other people, I really, really doubt they would be like, okay, we're taking over, even though we are having this massive boon. 
But again, if he doesn't have majority shares and they he wouldn't have much say in the board, you kick him well, out. That, there he we still go. gets yeah. money from the stocks he owns. Like it's not like you can just yeah. take that from you because you own it. Now, here is this the St. Macy's Day parade? Yes. Or, okay. It's Macy Gray, as in the girl who sings what stumble? Is that it? That's car. No, that was no, I try to say I don't know. I don't know this thing I choke. I try to walk away and I stumble. That one. That Macy Gray. I don't recognize the singer at all. What's he doing? Okay, he's getting. I just sang it. You. Don't... I'm gonna have to send you a link. No, no, no. I'm asking what he, what hair he's doing. That was huge in the early 2000s. No, Not I wasn't asking... for this cameo, like to warrant this cameo. She must have had one hell of an agent. Is what I have oh, to say yeah. about this. No, uh, the question, but the question I had was, what was Harry doing? Like, he was taking a picture of the architecture, even though he's in the middle of a giant parade. He was, uh, yeah, yeah. he was totally being like, "There's somebody with red hair up there." Oh my god, it's MJ. He was totally stalking. He's right. not taking photos of okay. architecture because because it because the way that because the way it was cut made it look like he was looking at the architecture and then just. Oh, then he saw her. Maybe he was taking photos of the decorations on the Osborne yeah, yeah. building. Well, there were also two balloons there. His spider sense is tingling. Yeah, here. He, Spider-Man knows something's up, but no one else does, and that glider's apparently not Oh, man, look at that singular billboard. <laughs> if that doesn't that... date this movie, I don't know what does. Macy Gray also dates this movie. Yeah. The fact that you don't know who she is really says a lot. I'm okay. To be fair, I'm not exactly. <laughs> you big... were alive when her song was a hit. I don't follow music that much. I'm sorry. Well, I've told you how many concerts I've ever been to in my life. Zero. How many events have I ever been to in my life where a con where a band was featured? One. Okay, Billy J knows something up. I do love how yeah, this part. Okay, I always this part always gets me. Not okay. Not all of part. those balloons are fake. Yeah, I know all those balloons are fake. Yeah, <laughs> everybody run. Yeah, boom. Take no, cover. this is my favorite part too. Okay, I've hold got on. two favorite oh, parts. Lee, Lee. Oh look, there's Stan Lee. Yeah. Uh, gotta okay, save people. Things. Okay, I understand. Yeah, you need to show Harry being a hero and saving people, but that part there where they'll just pull. I'm sorry, shit's blowing up. I'm pretty sure they'd be running. And here we go, a very Superman esque type. Right. <laughs> I'm sorry if that if that bit of concrete she was on. Okay, this this is the part that gets me. What what kind of bomb does he throw that turns these people into flipping skeletons? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know of anything that would that just completely disintegrates people like that. that just it's a comic. They're not all. trying to be realistic. Yeah, I, it's very Look comic. Spider Man. Yeah. I miss it. That girl yelling that is my favorite, and I don't yeah, know and why. It, the, here's here's another situation. This kid um, is my second <laughs> favorite. He just stands there. Everybody is running away. And he's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, well, it's like I said earlier, we have, it's it's a certain death directly above us. Let's stare and look at it. He's not of, even I don't trying. Know, he's literally going like, oh, this wind feels so good in my hair. That part there is like, it's like, okay, I surrender. And then he goes <laughs> on, punch beats <laughs> out. Ouch. Ow, oh, yeah. I don't think he's getting back up. That would. Ow. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dang. That poor guy. That would probably break a collarbone. Ah! Uh, would, yeah. I don't know if he's no. dead or not, but that would. This he, he's got something. a broken collarbone at least. Oh, that's practical. But yeah, see, here's the part it's like that thing has freaking guns on it as well as a couple missiles. Right. I'm pretty sure the government would be very interested in that. Right? Again. For the people that you can't get the exoskeleton, well, no, but again, if you're going with the exoskeleton that has all that stuff too, yeah, like that's ouch. part of it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. 
Ah. Wee. Use your web and pull her up to you. Right? That'll work. And apparently he doesn't have any sensors in the in his in his helmet to help him see. No. <laughs> and I'm sorry, Willem Dafoe, full on cheesy ass, will meet again, Spider Man. <laughs> right. Whoop. Oh, it's a good thing. This part, okay, this design. part always bugs me. Is that instead of just okay, letting her back down right there, he no. swings away with her. Yes. Kidnapping. <laughs> he totally kidnaps her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then here she's told. Yeah, she's totally digging on that him. shot. Yeah. I mean, that shot was like the. I think that was the cover of the soundtrack album. Yeah, yeah. And then you see this. This is an actual place in New York because they use it in New York-based TV shows and stuff all the time. Don't they also? Don't they use this exact same place in the second Fantastic Four movie too? They also use it in the Daredevil TV series. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, that too. Ah, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man! Yeah. Whee! And the cathedral in the background. And, yeah. She likes me! She really <laughs> likes me! What do you mean he's incredible? Jeez, Harry. Be a little more insecure, please. Yeah, no doubt. Oh. Yeah, and we'll go have breakfast and I want to buy you something. <laughs> I want to make you feel better. Yeah, you almost died. <laughs> Tubby's like, he, yeah. he's totally, he's, he's totally. Incredible. <laughs> I, I do love how Harry had a brick fall on his head, but all he's got is a little bandage right there. Well, it's just a cut from the brick. I'm sure he has yeah, a concussion as well. You don't need a bandage for a concussion, though, just for the scratch from the brick. Yeah. Are you? Because yeah, when we like talked in high school, I was the one crazy for her. Yeah. And you kind of never mentioned it. Yeah. And and Harry and I I is I if I think Peter should be like, no, dude, you're right. It's totally fine. I get it. You're fine. Don't worry. Spider-Man or the other guy? Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. What was that thing? Whatever it was, someone has to stop it. <laughs> and whole. Stop it. Yeah. People of New York throw stuff at it. The people of New York are going to stop it. Yes. <laughs> the people of New York. <laughs> Gosh, I I'm sorry. I love Willem Dafoe. <laughs> just because. Granted, I just love him because he does cheesy better than anybody else. <laughs> I just love how he came back for No Way Home just to do it again. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> just to be him, just to be well crazy. I mean, I feel like a part I I feel like he's gotta love like on some oh, he, level, Willem Dafoe has to love this cheesiness. Cause he's done Spider Man, he was an Aquaman, like Boondock Saints is a little weird. Like yeah. I feel like he's a nerd at heart and just loves this stuff. I wouldn't be surprised at all. Because if he just did one of those, be like, okay, you know, they paid no, him the money here, and convinced him I just, to do I just it. love look and look at him in the mirror. This is all this whole <laughs> Machiavellian like scheming villain type thing. I love it. It's amazing, <laughs> right? <laughs> and great use of space here. I love it. Oh god, I love this. this is, like I said, I love this. It just. And, just, and he goes back from the creepy ha 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 to the innocent. But I like how right there with the turn, it like shows him going from the creepy back to himself. Yeah. They don't keep it with like the Gollum thing, right? Remember in what is it, Two Towers? Yeah. Where they keep cutting the camera view to make it look like two people. For here, yeah. they like that, show him that is going one like. thing that always bugged me about, about the Lord of the Rings, how they cut the camera. And I mean, granted, yeah. to be fair, if you, it is a good way to establish this character talking. Now this character talking, right? But, and that's what they're doing for the majority of this. Is they're mm -hmm. like, this is him in the mirror being evil, and this is him now. But that's yeah. why I really like the view of him like turning because you see him go from you see, crazy you see to the himself. change. Yeah. yeah, 
And like I said, the, the cheesy ass grin, love it. It's, but he looks, he looks like the green goblin mask. Like he's yeah. amazing. Oh, here. Like I said, J. Joe Jameson, my favorite part, of, my favorite part of the movie. He's hilarious. He's off. He's the best. I just there. I want to copyright the name Greek Goblin. I want a quarter every time someone says it. It's liable. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite, yeah. Like I said, I love him. I trust. Do you trust anybody? I trust my barber. <laughs> and he just throws the cigar out the window. But then it gets thrown back. Yep. Although, to be, yeah, if, if this, yeah, I'd be. Although, here's, this is, I do love this. Listen to what, listen here. Jameson used blah, blah, blah. He asked, okay, he asked, who takes the pictures of Spider Man? And I don't, he's protecting Peter. I love yep. that. Because he could easily just said, the guy's standing right over there. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, hey kiddo, let mom and dad speak for a minute. Although here, uh, he's a little snarky, just a little this, bit, just yeah, a this little. Part, this part gets me. Uh, why would you not? Why would you sit there and breathe it in? Why would you not be like, uh, let's not? I, do that. that part always got me too. Like he, he just you said you could the whole sleep. sleep. Yeah. Wake up, Peter Spidey. <laughs> I mean, gosh, the only way that could have been more cheesy if he's held up a pocket watch and, like, you follow the watch, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, you are not. Oh, amazing. They really like cool. calling him amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, they always do that, pretty much. Well, yeah, because the comic books, he's the amazing. Well, the comic Spider-Man. books are like, titled the, the Amazing Spider Man. The Amazing Spider Man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, air. That whatever whatever drug he used is clearly very powerful because he's a kind of awake, but clearly can't even move yet. Oh, that's what he said. It leaves him paralyzed. <laughs> like that's what the drug does. It paralyzes you. Although I do love that part where he just comes up, leans, slaps his head, leans over. <laughs> <and down. laughs> And then, yeah. it's like you could easily be a super villain, you know. You could easily go rob banks. Yep, that's what he's telling him. Yep. But it's also like, well, you want me to like partner with you? You're a bad guy. Like you're gonna turn on me at some point. Yeah. I know how this works. Yeah. It always well, it always and it always goes like that. Is because what's gonna happen is yeah, we're gonna have our fun, but sometime, but there's gonna be some time where it's gonna be we rob where we get. One hundred and one dollars, and instead of flip, and instead of you know splitting it up 50 50, you're gonna want that extra one, and then you're gonna kill me for it. And what does Green Goblin need to rob banks for anyway? He's yeah. Norman Osborne, yeah, like he already has enough money, he doesn't need to rob banks, yeah. And then here, in spite of everything you've done, eventually they'll turn on you, and that happens <laughs> all hours of rest, do they though? Or is that just you trying to sell papers after saying once that, oh no, and he's again, just has so him. happened to run into her right after our audition. I'm sorry, this is creepy. <laughs> yeah, there, it's like, how, how'd you know? Oh, your mom told my aunt, my aunt told me. Uh, again, kind of creepy. Now, that's how these things go. <laughs> it's like, I had to take two buses in a cab to get over here. Uh, he web swung over. <laughs> well, I know. Because <laughs> why would you take two buses in a taxi? Why wouldn't you just take the taxi to begin with? No doubt. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do like that. Let me buy you a cheeseburger. The sky's the limit, up to seven hundred eighty-seven dollars eighty-four cents. <laughs> Although you can't get much. Yeah, that. you can't do that anymore. <laughs> no, it's, it's like not yeah, yeah it's like the whole, like remember, fries. Yeah, you, you can. Uh, you might be able to get a really cheap cheeseburger and fries for that, but that, like I said, that's that's like a kid's meal type thing. And that'd be one. You could definitely get a kid's meal. No, I think you can get a hamburger at McDonald's off of their... Do they have not, it's menu? not a dollar menu anymore, is it? I don't is know. That, so it's not still a dollar menu. Well, but, well, how often do I go to McDonald's? Almost never. So, 
I don't I don't go to fat I don't go to Burger King or McDonald's unless it's like I don't have a choice. I like their fries. I didn't hear what restaurant they were talking about, unfortunately. <laughs> they weren't talking about any specific restaurant, I don't mm-hmm. think. She's gonna go meet Harry somewhere. Oh, and then here she walks by and then the two muggers just so happen. Right. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, that is kind of how it goes, is just they're just walking. But also, she then target. chooses to walk down a creepy alley. Yeah. Like, why would you think this is a good place to run to? Yeah. Yeah, don't walk down dark alleyways. Oh, my God. It's raining really bad all of a sudden. That came out of yeah, nowhere. Yeah, that came out. Okay, to be fair, that happens all the time. And she can kick ass, apparently. No, I agree. That is, like, legit weather. Yeah. But it's just really pouring out of the gutter is all I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. It, it got it got to it, it went from no rain at all to all of a sudden there's rain quite literally everywhere and we're fighting in a puddle. When did he lose his mask? Yeah, maybe he just never put it on. He was running and trying to like get it on pretty yeah. quick. I. He's like, oh shit! I need to. I need to hide my identity. Didn't see my face. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe he just didn't have time to put it on because he yeah. was running. So, yeah, and here, I do like how Kristen Dunst is kind of like, I'm better at this than you are, <laughs> and you are amazing. Notice how, and I, like we mentioned before, notice how they're always using that word. <laughs> like I said, like we mentioned before. <laughs> do I can say thank you. Yeah, Toby McGuire just hanging upside down here. All the blood yeah. rushing to his head. Yeah. Okay. To be fair, he's not exactly he, he's not hanging upside down for a long time. But um, it's no for how many takes they had to do. Yeah. Well, I would assume like I would assume in between takes he can get up and you know reset. And she puts the mask on his nose so he can't breathe. Yeah. <laughs> he she, said you're not going to be able to breathe for a second when they got with you. Because he's upside down. The mask is yeah. covering his nose. He legit couldn't breathe as he was making out with her. Yeah. <laughs> Though he's, to be fair, they're not making out for long. And so. But still, I yeah. feel like if you're upside down and you can't breathe, that would feel like eternity. Yeah. Well, it, remi- it reminds me of uh, like reading about how some, like some people would have takes of like where they're underwater and the take is only like 30 seconds, 30, 40 seconds, but it would feel like forever. Yeah. Uh, there's one when we do Jaws. There's one story I have a, that's really in, that really goes into stuff about that. Um, if we do Jaws, no, I'm saying um at the way that this like connected building only one of part yeah, of they, it. Yeah, like, they cut fire. to this very quickly. Like yeah. the building next to it would be smoking as well because that's how mm-hmm. these things go. Yeah, well, fire the building next to it is a part of the building like, that's on fire, isn't it? What? The building that's standing next to it is the part. Yeah, the building that's next to it is a part of that building. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean, and it looks com- completely untouched but, yeah, by the totally fire, fine. which would totally be fine. ridiculous. It's not burned at all. <laughs> yeah, and then I do like how you know, cut to the mother clearly freaking the flip out. Though, though this part here, this part here gets me. What the hell exploded? What did they have in there that exploded? Uh, somebody could have had some kind of aerosol? I guess. Maybe they kept the extra gas tank for their scooter yeah, in okay. their apartment? Yeah, uh, don't get it, let him get away. He just saved a baby. Uh, that's what the other guy says. <laughs> yeah, there's someone else in there, yeah. Yeah, I do like that. I'll be here when you get back. <laughs> also, keep in mind, this is happening on Thanksgiving Day, apparently. Yeah, apparently, too, yeah. <laughs> Which would be all over the news. <laughs> Gosh, they, I'm there. you would not be breathing. You would not be breathing. There is no way you would have any oxygen in a fire like this. It would be pretty difficult. Yeah, I do it's like, like the building is already there down. You go. Ouch. Like this, that floor is not supporting you. How did yes. you not see the shape of that through the blanket? Yeah, no doubt. I was wondering, I was about to say the exact same thing. 
But yeah, about okay. It. At this point, get out. Yeah, you who out gotta be out of your mind. <laughs> Just Look, leave. Steve, some terrible snark. Yeah. I want to say, I think a part of it is how Toby delivers the snarky lines. Yeah. He just doesn't do it jovially enough. They have the lines. It's just he doesn't, it doesn't, he doesn't have the delivery that you need. Yeah. How long are those things battery life? Apparently long enough. Wee! (laughs) But like I said, as soon as you saw it was Green Goblin, you should be like, okay, bail. No, it's a, uh, the fire transition here. Well, that's a terrible. He got thing. he got over there very quickly. They would both smell like smoke so bad. Yeah. Oh yeah. Smoke does not come out all that well. Yeah, smoke without does a not change come of clothes out of and the a only, good shower. The only thing I'm gonna say is that maybe because he was in a like he was he was in a full met, like metal costume, maybe it's airtight. But I, but yeah, it's, it's, I still doubt it's it. It's clearly not airtight. He's got mesh over his eyes and mouth. Like you can see his eyes through it. Yeah. He would smell like smoke. Yeah, you would. Yeah. Like I said, Look, the only thing like said, dress that he wanted her to wear before. The, I had him run for the cranberry sauce. Wee! Why? How did it, the Green Goblin beat him back? Yeah, he left was the burning to... building first. Like Spider Man yeah. left the burning building first. May maybe Spider Man hadn't because he, like I said, he the guy like they said they had to go get the cranberry sauce. Maybe he hadn't had stopped and gotten the cranberry sauce yet, so he had to go. Good cut here where they rotate the carry where they go from Tobey Maguire. Cut to them entering the room. Cut back and he's gone. That is one high ceiling, <laughs> right? I love the big goopy blob, like. How has that not started to congeal? One, because it's been a while. Two, you've yeah. just been flying around, you and it's think still. You would have had it wrapped you, up or banned. Like, do you have something. like a blood clotting issue? Like, do you have anemia? Also, that looks like you just spilled ketchup on the ground. That is well, a big drop. It. Like, look at yeah. that. That was look clearly, yeah, that was clearly not blood. That was just ketchup, but. <laughs> That's so much blood from like the tiny drop yeah. that actually fell. But uh, uh, I'm gonna do movie 101. Um, in most movies, especially unless it's like a super, super, super high budget movie, they just use ketchup. Oh yeah, because it's super cheap and easy to get a hold of. So, although uh, again, how did you not, you know, wrap up your arm and everything? Exactly. He still hasn't wrapped it even after like it dripping like that. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I guess he didn't expect the Green Goblin to be at yeah, his he did, Yeah, he didn't know that, that Harry Osborn was the Green Goblin yet, so. But, like, if you got cut and you're trying to hide the fact that you're Spider-Man. I do, I do I love that. Like... I do love that, you know, he's, like, gets, a like, the pumpkin pie. It's, like, sweats in. Will you do the honors? And he's got the whole creepy look of, ha, <laughs> ha, Again, how did you not get that wrapped up? I mean, if if it if it like if it is if she had like saw like the shirt was cut and then he had like the shirt was cut and he had a bandage underneath, and then it's like, oh, what happened? I could un- I could buy that, but I do not buy no. that he's did not wrap that up in some way. How is it still that fresh? Yeah. Heck, or heck, do what the Amazing Spider-Man I'm did and just sure. web it up. You know, put web on it to stop it to stop it from bleeding. Right. Yeah, and he's clearly yeah. Uh, some yeah, it's like something has come to my attention. What has come to your attention? Your phone didn't ring. You're just leaving. I would have I would have had him say something like, oh, "I'm sorry, I I don't feel well all of a sudden," or you know something like that. But it's more fun. Something has come to my attention, like your friend Peter Parker is Spider Man. To be fair, that would just be kind of a dick move to say, but yeah, he well. But that's what they were getting at. That was the point of it. Yeah, well, here, but like, but like I just said, he is the villain. He would say it. 
Although it would also raise the question, how do you know? <laughs> Although here, uh, yeah, here you're now you're just being a dick. I see why you're divorced. <laughs> right. And uh, she gets mad. Look, she's like, wait, he didn't say anything after that. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for staying up. Yeah. Um, he did a little bit. He said, you're not like that. Yeah. And then he left before I could say anything after the last sentence. What do you want from me? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're Okay, broken. that was a dick thing you're to say, Harry. There. Yeah, that was a dick move. And I like how she goes, I'm sorry, Aunt May. She doesn't say sorry to, to Peter, but hey. <laughs> Well, Aunt May's the one that planned the Thanksgiving at their place, apparently. That's fair. A traitor must not be convinced. God, he does this like so well. Like I love this. Mask. He does the whole, I'm I'm so weak and pathetic, and the whole, I'm cheesy and evil. So well, it's awesome. And like we mentioned earlier, how it cuts to the mask where he's evil, but it cuts to him when he's not. Yeah, and here, the the this is something that always. I mean, granted, it is what you do for super. It is what super. What you would do as a super villain, you would go after the loved ones. I'm guessing that it's at this point in No Way Home that he gets transported. Then, I'm yeah, I would assume so too. I would assume because. Yeah. He's in his green gob. This this there. part, like I said, Sam Raimi. Oh, this is part is so cheesy. I, finish it. Yeah. Finish the prayer. But, but like I said, oh Sam Raimi is a, is a horror movie director, and he does that very much in a horror movie style, and it works so well. It's so cheesy. Yeah. Deliver us. And she's now, my question is, okay, is what is she like? Is she having a heart attack or is she having a panic attack? What's going on? Panic attack. She's clearly having like a panic attack. Yeah. Yeah. Bingo. I like how uh, so you're not going to call the rest of your friends to let them know, hey, this yeah. just happened to Aunt May. Could you maybe like be careful? Yeah, yeah, hide out, go downtown and hide. Like, you're uh, not but yeah, but yeah, he, well, I'll notice Jane he hasn't Harry called right anybody. Now? He knows, he knows that Green Goblin knows who he is. He hasn't called anybody yet. He hasn't called Mary Jane. No, he because hasn't called exactly. Harry. He hasn't called Flash. I don't know what their relationship is. Yeah, he wouldn't call Flash at this point, but you should totally call Harry. Who lives with you? Like yeah. I feel like not knowing that the Green Goblin well, is your best friend's he's, he's father. Your, yeah, he's your best friend. And I he was still and like, he oh my god, know. he went after my aunt. My roommate could be next. Like that yeah. seems logical. Yeah. Because he doesn't know who Harry. He doesn't know that Harry's the bad guy yet. He just knows that the bad right. guy knows who he is. Right. So yeah, it's like yeah, you would he would you would call Mary Jane and be like, hey, take cover. You would call you know you'd call Harry, and be like, hey, you'd be granted. You I, would you say that would you say that hey, I'm Spider Man, hide or I'm no? I would just be like, Aunt May was just attacked by the Green Goblin. I'm just worried about you guys. Yeah, that's fair. You're gonna think I'm a little girl, stupid little crush. He saved my life twice, and I've never even seen his face. Oh yeah, that oh him, yeah, he's yeah. Yeah, it's like do you? Yeah, he's this all. I I know him a little bit. I'm his sort photographer. Of unofficial ed photographer. I love how convenient that is. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> and, uh, oh, by the way, and she, and she doesn't go really. <laughs> and she is like, <laughs> there's no. Uh, it's like okay, I I'd be asking, well, how well do you know him? How much do you talk? It's like seriously. <laughs> it's like the great thing about MJ. It's like okay, this is just too no. 
she's an idiot for not realizing. Yeah, she like, is a complete moron for not, you know, not putting together. Hey, uh, hmm. And I, I, I they don't cut. I, um, I should have mentioned it that uh, Aunt May is awake and listening to all this. Yeah, they show that later. Give it a second. <laughs> yeah, they because yeah. they show they had a cut earlier that she is awake. She is conscious. She knows exactly what's going on, but she's not saying a word. <laughs> Nope, she's going to let her son have his moment. Her, well, her nephew. nephew. But, yeah. We'll count it because, yeah, it is kind of, it is. Well, how, well, okay, in the comics, how old was Perry when his parents died? I don't know. I don't think they ever really go into it. Because it's kind of a situation of, does he even remember his parents at all? Yeah. Probably not. I, don't, I wouldn't think, in this movie, you would think not. I mean, the way they, like, um... Yeah, they portray the relationship. It's kind of like he didn't really know his parents. Yeah. In this, in this, you would assume that his parents. She's like, yeah, that's yeah, a little it, weird yeah. thing to well, say. Right there, right there, right there. She's awake. She knows. And she's got a smile, smile on his face. <laughs> Although what what if I if I were Toby McGuire, I would have said, well, since I'm kind of his unofficial photographer, I, a great way, because again, you know that Green Goblin knows who you are. What I would have said right there is, I'm actually a little bit worried that he might be coming after me next because you know, you know, my yeah. aunt May got hit. And, yeah, see, that and, you know, would be a good thing to say. Instead, he just he gets all like, "Oh no, he knows who I am," and then doesn't think and thinks that Green Goblin's going to stop at his aunt. Yeah. Yeah, oh, he hears the goblin laughing. That's a big old mansion. Which is impressive to own in downtown New York. Yeah. That's the whole point. Yeah, uh, yeah, here. Everything you said about MJ was right. Also, what is he wearing? He's wearing, what, black jeans, a black yeah. turtleneck, and a yeah. black trench coat? It looks like he's about to attend a funeral. Well, he's crazy about her. Yeah, and here you cannot get upset that he's that she's dating Peter now, dude. Right. It's like like you know he's had a crush on her since fourth grade. You cannot be upset that he's dating her now. I mean, I know, I know it sucks here as you're still probably, you know, you're still probably getting over the relationship yourself, but I don't you know, think they've officially broken up. I think that's yeah. part of why he's upset. Okay, to be fair. Be, yeah, because she was saying because like they had the Thanksgiving dinner and she's mad at him for what happened, but I don't think they've broken up. But yet. maybe well, no, because I think she was saying that like she hasn't called him back yet. Cause I don't think she even knows what to tell him yet. Yeah. So they're not done done but they're yeah unless he just broke up there with you go. <laughs> whoa <laughs> got me little spider. you're not superman you look you know. awful yeah she's she's over her mental breakdown now apparently she sprained her wrist i honestly don't know why she's still in the hospital because she's yeah. freaking out almost died you're not superman you know <laughs> well we get like i said we uh, you just find all the com references to other comic book heroes in this movie because they're all over the place yeah, up and away if, if you know look. shazam there we go <laughs> oh my god this is so oh, cheesy this is the at me is that an angel are you an angel what uh, yeah, i was right. listening to star pilots oh blah 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 yeah, yeah. Gee, did I say that? Is he, though? I mean, yeah. Okay, see, they haven't technically broken up yet. Yeah, okay. They're, yeah, they're not broken up yet, but they're on the rocks. Let's put it like that. Yeah, here. And he, only here does he finally... Yes. Yeah. <laughs> everybody else knows. Yeah, you're not good at keeping secrets. Why didn't you think to tell them before? Yeah. And again, and mind you, he's only calling Mary Jane. Why isn't he calling Harry to his best friend? His best friend and roommate. Yeah. 
depends on the universe, though. Oh, when his parents died? Yeah. Okay. And, um, <laughs> I noticed the payphone and not a cell phone, which everybody... <laughs> yeah, and here, don't go down any dark alleys. Yeah, and the... Oh, he's four years old. But that's in the it's Amazing Spider-Man movie. Today. I guess oh, that's more like the comics. And I then in the that. most recent MCU, he was 17 when they died. In Interesting. Six, yeah. No, because... No, that's not the MCU. No, that's different. Yeah. So, yeah, it varies. So, between the ages of 4 and 6, 17. Okay, apparently. When his parents die. Uh, how do you not realize where you late. are? I thought he was like... So, well, I guess it just depends. I'm when sorry, you just power. woke up. You're not in your bed. How do you not take a moment to look around and figure out and instead just stand up and almost fall off the floor? Because room? she stands up thinking she's like on the floor of her bedroom because as you just said, she hasn't fully woken up yet to realize, oh, I'm not in my bedroom. Oh my gosh, this is... Oh, it, it, this is so... <laughs> uh, here we go, the whole, the whole childhood rhyme. <laughs> I want to know if that was Willem Dafoe ad-libbing that, or if that was written, because I really hope it was ad-libbed. Also, there was a point what, in Real Way Home had a lot of explosions where they were on it. top of this bridge, and I'm like, oh my god, are they going to reenact this scene? Because that would be hilarious. Yeah. I thought for sure he was going to do it. Well like, well, like we mentioned, there's a whole bunch of references to other superheroes. This is a reference to how Gwen Stacy died. Yes, it is. Which I always thought was interesting that they used this for this movie, but with Mary Jane, and obviously she doesn't die. Yeah. But like in the comics, you're right. This is how Gwen, this is the scene when Gwen Stacy dies. Yeah. Although this part here, I don't know those flagpoles would be that flexible to do this. But I do like how he slingshots himself because there's no way he can web to the bridge. Yeah. I mean, okay, if they were flexible enough to bend like that, yeah, it would work. But I don't know. I don't know what kind of metal those things are made out of. But I really, really doubt they're that flexible. <laughs> yeah, and here you'll never know when someone will come with a sadistic choice. <laughs> yep, there goes the slippers that happened just happened to fall off right there. Right. <laughs> you were. So you're so evil. Save us, Spider-Man! Is there a school trip going on? Why is apparently, it so dark? Uh, and apparently there are school trips going on in the middle of the flipping night because notice how dark it is. I mean, like, even if it's winter time and it gets dark at five, I feel like five is still I love late this scene. I love this scene of the of in the one guy yeah, in the one goggle you see Mary Jane, the other guy you see. I can see that. that we did. Yeah, an out-of-town school trip. That's the only way that would make sense. Yeah. We... He goes to Mary Jane first. To be fair... Well, he catches her, though, instead yeah, of using to be his fair, that is actually the strategically the best choice. Because she weighs 200... Like, weighs 120 pounds, 130 pounds. Max. That thing that weighs a heck of a lot more. It's a lot... It would be a lot easier to get her... First, get her safe first, and then grab that. Yeah, and here we're gonna bring the barge right under you, and and uh, you notice how your husband said how the New Yorkers gonna save the day. This is why I said that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, make a new web. Make a new web. Why doesn't he just web it together? Yeah, web the yeah. Like, why is he insisting on being the middleman here? Web it together yeah. and go take care of Gobby. Like, well, if he, if he were to web that to the um, bridge, he wouldn't be able to get it, let it down onto the boat. Ouch. Uh, they could find a way down. We, it's thank God she can hold on to that. Happening. Yeah, she's falling. She would be falling. Yeah, like, there. I really doubt she would be able to hold on when that had just happened. Owie. He's got some incredible body, upper body yeah. strength, let me tell you. That's and she's got some incredible body strength to be able to hang on to that. 
No, that's what I mean. She's got some incredible upper body He's strength. just as much a superhero as he is. <laughs> Incoming. And bottle. This is was that a fire extinguisher? What the heck did the I was... throw out of a cone? Yeah, what the hell was that? That was like a fire extinguisher. I think it was like a fire extinguisher. Like, where are these things coming from? Yeah, I do love it. It's like, you're messing with Spider-Man. You're going to mess with... Was that the bus driver from earlier? Yeah, I was just about to say that. Isn't that his cool. bus driver from the beginning of the so. movie? I think it is. <laughs> you mess with one of us. You mess with all of us. <laughs> yeah. Also, I love how they are all like, no yeah, we did attention. it. No oh, But my question Ow. is, why doesn't the Green Goblin just bomb the whole bridge to like yeah. be like, fine, I'll mess with all of you. <laughs> yeah. Ow. Or why doesn't he sink the boat? Like, Green Goblin had a lot of options there. Yeah, he like, had a lot of options. This is going to hurt. Yeah, it is. Ow. So he gets messed up. I've actually seen people cosplay this messed up version of Spider-Man. Like, oh, that's awesome! That's cool. Yeah. That is awesome, actually. I've seen it a few times now, and that's mostly my reaction: is people still love Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Oh. Oh God, that hurt. I'm sorry. Getting a knee in the face is really gonna mess you up. Uh, although I gotta ask, how come he gets blown back when the people on the, when the people from earlier get turned to skeletons? Because he used a different bomb. Obviously. Ow! <laughs> Gobby is just on his game. Spider Man needs to yeah, take some fighting yeah. lessons. And here, I want I want everybody to pay attention to this sound effect. It's like metal. Yeah, it sounds like torn. he's ripping metal. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like it too. Like the way they have the webs bend, it's very strong. Dropkick. <laughs> oh man, now we're just playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, no, I was about to say that exact same thing. Ouch. Bam. Denied. Goblin is better at the quips than Spider Man is in this movie, let's be honest. Yeah, it's like, how did I piss you off? I just saved their life. Yeah. And if you're a bad guy, you don't want to see people be saved. Oh, you just pissed off Spider-Man. You could have beaten him, but you just gave him yeah. a second second breath. Uh, boy, hold on. Wasn't his hand on Peter... Wasn't his foot on Peter's hand and he just let Obviously, he moved it so that he could skewer Peter Parker properly. With the, with the trident that yes. he has. Yeah. Because that's more fun. And notice how Peter got his second wind and is now completely... Exactly, because he threatened MJ, and Peter's Ow, like, you're not going to touch MJ. Oh, hold on. We've got the the villain, like you said, the scary the movie, like reveal. horror film villain sticking his hand up. He's still alive. He's still alive. Like I said, Sam Raimi is a horror movie director, first and foremost, and it really shows... Ouch! Really shows through in this. Out. Out. Don't punch the metal helmet. <laughs> right. Why doesn't he take the helmet off? I don't know. Yeah. Peter, stop. It's me. Help me. And like I said, Willem Dafoe just, he does the, I'm so weak and innocent. Oh, God, help me. And uh, yeah, but here's crazy. the weird thing. Like, the whole movie, you've seen him be two, like, he's clearly two different sides. But right here, both sides are working together to kill him. Yeah. And it's awesome. Yeah, and it's like, it's not me. I couldn't, I couldn't stop it. And he just, and he just and yeah. and he just, no, don't look at my hand. <laughs> yeah. How does he have that much control over that guy, guy like that? Right? Like, that's impressive. Yeah. Like Iron Man would have that kind of control, but yeah. that kind of technology you haven't really seen yet in this fake universe. No, no doubt. Well, I mean, let me just put it this way. Flying a plane, because like I said, I don't, I can't fly a real life plane, but I do flight simulators. There's a lot to it. 
It's it's a lot it's a lot more difficult to fly a plane than it is to fly Disney a car. Let's put it that way. Godspeed, Spider Man. <laughs> Although, why would you say that? Why don't you? you know, and then, and it's like, oh, how did you not see the bad that could result in this? Like, what I want to know is, what was his plan anyway? To yeah. skewer Peter into you? Yeah. Like, you're behind that skewer no matter what happens here. Yeah. Well, like I said, how do you not foresee the bad that result, result yeah, here? Like, even Peter, if it had gotten Spider-Man, Spider-Man it's it's going to skewer him into you. Like, how did you not yeah. think that through at all? No doubt. <laughs> and um, why... This part here, he takes Harry back to um, t- back to his house instead of oh I don't know like a hospital or something. He's dead. I know, but take him to the hospital at least. So, so the hospital can report. Oh, Harry yeah. Osborne shows up skewered. Well, there's no way you're gonna look like the good guy in this situation. So well if. If Harry hadn't walked in on him, he never would have known. Yeah. Like this whole thing, he's like, "Oh, what did you do to my dad? I, what what reason would I have to do anything to your dad?" Yeah, no doubt. I'm Spider Man. <sighs> like I said, I just I would have if I were in Spider Man, I probably would have taken Harry to the to like a hospital or a police station or something. I wouldn't have taken him back to his house. <laughs> Because it, you need, you know, you'd, you'd be Don't like, you need to, you need to be like the Green Goblin just killed this guy, or you know, something like that, or at least put the body within, at, like at least put the body in the tunnel that was blown the shit up, so it looks like oh he died because there's some shrapnel nah. or something. Nah, it's fine this way. <laughs> I hate Spider Man, but I Peter, you're my best friend. <laughs> you're my besties oh, God, forever. <laughs> <laughs> but I hate Spider Man. He's gonna pay someday. It's ironic. You do. You do the evil person. well. You do evil well. Pretty, pretty well too. They're the same person. Yeah. Although your most evil thing was when you was uh, when I sent that uh, picture where 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 I sent that screen because you said we were gonna do a bad movie and you had this evil grin. <laughs> I don't remember what movie it was. It's probably a. Uh... Was it Miami Connection? Miami Connection. Yeah. Probably was. So far, still the only movie I've ever gotten drunk on these four, but I have a feeling that may change when we get to three. <laughs> I miss him so much. Who? My uncle? Yeah. I'm questioning that. Yeah. His, why do you miss my uncle? Yeah. I miss something. Why do you miss my uncle so much? Yeah. No doubt. No, no. Were you, were you like getting, what? <laughs> I'm confused now. I mean, granted, they, they would certainly know each other. They would certainly have had but conversations. If she went to his house growing up to escape her parents, I can see that. Yeah. But, like, given their conversation in the backyards, it doesn't seem like <laughs> that's how it was. Yeah, no doubt. Like, I just feel like their relationship. I don't think this is an uncle. I don't think this is a Mr. Feeney relationship type thing. No. But, like, they grew up next to each other, but it sounds like they didn't actually really know each other. And that just seems weird to me. Although the part Like, in high school, I get it. But if they were six when she moved in, six-year-olds don't care who you are. They would have played together. Yeah. The part that really gets me is, uh, let me see Peter Parker's face one more time. (laughs) What? Like, where did that that come from? from? You've had, you've had, like... Four scenes, and all of them were creepy. Like I just said, they clearly didn't have like a real relationship up until they graduated high school. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Which, for being neighbors, is weird. Uh, she loves him. It's fine. Yeah, she's yeah. Well, like like I said, every every scene he there's been, he's been really really creepy and awkward but she's been okay with it because she's just as into him as he is into her apparently yeah, yeah. apparently that's <laughs> what it was and then he's like yeah, no here, can't. and it's like what do you, i yeah it's like this what do you so do hard. in this situation i don't go <laughs> it's like you love her i can't i can't tell you why what can't you tell me and how is she not putting two and two together here Right? Right? Yeah. 
And oh, you are so as a friend. Yeah, uh, friend zoned. Friend zoned. Uh, but but yeah, it's, it's not even that because like everyone, she's finally realized. Oh, he likes me. Yeah, she knows he, lo everyone he knows loves. Everyone knows he likes her. Yeah. That's so she like knows. that's why she's super confused right now. Yeah, she, yeah. She's like, what do you mean only a friend? Yeah. She knows just as much as everybody else that he is super into her, but he just is not, and she can't put two and two together for some reason. I don't know. Because he doesn't want to hurt her. Hey, man. Yeah. Like he doesn't want to put her in danger, year. even though you're already putting her in danger because she's your friend. And now she finally puts two and two together. Oh, his kiss was just like that upside down kiss I had. What? I don't know if that works or not. <laughs> I don't know. With great power comes great responsibility. And that line, they, in all the other Spider-Man movies, they this always stick around that line until we get to until we get to No Way Home, or they just yeah. fall on, boom, right in your face. I'm Spider-Man. 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 Yeah. Here, here. This is the scene I was talking about, where he like, or I think, I think. No. Maybe not. Maybe not. It could. Be, it must be in the second movie then. Yeah, I think it's the second movie. Yeah. But here yeah, they had to reshoot this be, scene to take well, the I don't know, yeah, out of the on the Empire State Building with the American flag in the back. Because like I said, this was right after 9-11 where everybody's yeah. in that super patriotic. Um, because they, But like I said, they do it in every movie. So, yeah. So that was the 2002 Spider-Man movie. I love this movie, even though it is, it, it is a little... Cheesy, cheesy, yeah. I guess the best way to say but that's it. why um, that's part of its charm, yeah. I think. Yeah, and like, well, like I said, like it. comic book cheesy mm -hmm. while still like having fun, yeah. They still had fun with it, but like mm -hmm. the acting was good and solid, and like they took they it just as seriously sense. as they needed to, like the plot made sense. Unlike mm -hmm. you know, I'm previously strong, you had. <laughs> the 1970s Superman where everybody makes fun of the ending of that movie because it's so terrible. Yeah. And that, you have a... four Batman movies or only three. I forget when Batman. Uh, and Robin came out. But like, I, I mean, to be four. fair, the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman was good. That's why they made yeah. two more. And it's pretty much what started the whole wave of Superman movies. We have or uh, superhero yeah. movies we have now. Yeah. But so. I mean, Spider. This Spider-Man movie was totally riding on the wave of popular, like popularity that X-Men had just started mm -hmm. two years yeah. prior. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, like I said, like I said, I was never. I like Spider-Man, but I never actually read the comics, unfortunately. So I don't know how faithful it is to the comics. But like, but like you said, they, the reason it went with Mary Jane is because everybody knows Mary Jane. But everyone, uh, if you have right. to, you actually have to be into. You, have to, you right. actually have to be into comic books to know who. Gwen Again, Stacy. since this was the beginning of comic book movies actually mm -hmm. making it at the box office, they didn't want. Obviously, they didn't want to go too deep into comic book lore because they wanted the average person to be able to follow along. And since yeah. the average person knew Mary Jane, what would be the point of bringing in Gwen Stacy? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> it is very much they 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 made this movie for everybody, not so much for the comic book elites. So, which is good because if you if you yeah. if you really go Fox, for the comic it was Sony seeing Fox do well with X Men, and they were like, we want to get in on this too. Yeah, definitely. So. That was that was a great movie. Uh, next week we will. Um, I'm gonna say this. Next week we will not be doing um, Spider-Man Two. We have another movie lined up because it's all Halloween or Halloween. Uh, it's Valentine's Day, so we have to do a lovey dovey movie. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> and we will have a special guest star next week too. So look forward to that. I know you you know who it is. Don't spoil anything. But thank you everybody for joining, and we will see you next week. Good night. Good night. So.